What's up guys, in this video we're going to be fixing our decimal problem and then we're also going to be looking into adding the updated, uh, basically the top bidder for our auctions. Okay, so it turns out that uh, you do decimal like this where the first value is the number of digits and here's the number of digits past the decimal point. Okay, so our decimal should be good now. Now for our updating. So for our updating, we're going to go into our user model, or we're, we can say an auction real quick. Uh, we're going to have a top bidder, top bidder, and that's going to be a string, and that's just going to be the username of the top bidder. Um, and then our user model, we're going to set up another foreign key with auctions, um, and, but instead of seller ID now, it's going to be top bidder. ID. So now we have two foreign keys. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can do that, but if it causes an error, we can always remove it. So now we're going to get, um, we actually have to add this top better because again, that's something in allow null, we can set the true if because if someone hasn't bid, that's okay. And now we basically want to automatically set the top bidder every time someone does an update. And the update is greater than uh, the value, of course. So we're going to do feathers generate hook. So we're going to create a hook for our update. So the hook is going to be um, add top bidder. This is going to be a before hook. It's going to be for auctions. And this is going to be for update and patch. Actually, and we're not really going to do full updates. We're only really going to do patch. So we'll leave it as patch for now. OK, so that's created our hook. So it can refresh. It can go into top bidder. And we're just going to do the same thing pretty much as we did last time. We're going to say hook dot data dot top bidder is equal to hook dot params dot user dot username. And then we're also going to do top bidder ID is equal to username ID. And then that should be good. So let's hop back to uh, Postman that we have over here, and let's demonstrate this. But, but actually, uh, we just changed the value of the database, so we actually need to drop it first. Forgot about that. So again, drop silent auction, create it, and then get out of there. And now we can start back up and we can go ahead and do this. All right, so you can create a user, Tim Bob. We can authenticate. Copy all that. And now we can create an auction. Blackberries for 143 and 20 cents. And top bidder and top bidder ID are both null, um, and that's perfectly fine. And if I come over here, I can get all of that. Um, and we notice how the current price looks good. That means our decimal is working. Um, we still don't have a top bidder because no one has a bid on this item. But if we come over here and we patch this, um, and we're just going to paste in Tim. So now if I do say 160, oops, 160 for the current price. When we grab this, the top bidder should be Tim. He's bidding on his own item. Okay, then notice how the top bidder um, is now Tim. So if I come pull this, you should see top bidder as Tim. So awesome. So now we know who the top bidder is um, every time someone updates. 
uh, the aux. But there's a small bug that we have in this, uh, the way we're doing this, and that's, let's say I put $20, and I push send. Um, oh look, now the current price is $20. I was just able to underbid. Um, so we need to set up basically a gate that says your bid has to be more than the current price or um, something we could do is we could say if you're bidding and the price uh, goes above like for example let's say if you have two people bidding at the same time um, maybe you have person A bids for $20 person B bids for $15 Person C bids for $30. And the current price of the item is, let's say, $10. Let's say A and B bid at the same time. B sends his request in. It's above $15. But then A comes in first, and his bid comes in, and now it's $20. So then when B comes along um, and tries to bid on this item, it is now it is no longer $15, and he basically should we cancel his bid um, because he can't, uh, $20 is more than his current bid? Or another way we can do it is we can say, if the price moves by the time you say bid, you can then automatically um, tr like convert your bid to like $25, like five more than the current price. Um, and maybe when we bid, and I actually like this, um, because it it's possible for silent auction things move fast, is when you're bid, you're saying, I'll bid $5 more than the current price. So no matter how much um, it moves in the current price, um, before the server changes, you can do that. And okay, I actually kind of like that. Uh, so I kind of want to set up a new service. So what you can do is you can say, I want to bid $5 more than the current price. Um, so you can do that. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to set it up so you can, when you bid, um, you can only bid more than the current price. And you're not having cases like this. All right, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.